Iowa State Athletic Director Jamie Pollard shared last week he has testicular cancer. He shared in great lengths to Cyclone Nation his treatment plan, but also how his cancer was detected early. Our Natalie Painter joins us live this morning with more on how men can spot the signs of this fairly common disease. Hi, Natalie. Good morning, Jody. That's right. We all know that talking about testicular cancer may be an uncomfortable conversation for some, but it needs to be talked about. And just discussing the precautions and the symptoms that can happen may save someone's life. According to the American Cancer Society, about 10,000 men are diagnosed with testicular cancer every year. And with many men feeling embarrassed or avoiding their doctor's visits, sometimes it doesn't get detected as early as it could have. Testicular cancer is one of the most common cancers between the ages of about 18 and 40. Uh, it occurs in about 1 in 250 males, so it's relatively common. While many causes of the cancer are unknown, a small amount are genetic or are due to risk factors such as a history of an undescended testicle. We, we find most of the testicular cancers just randomly. They show up as a hard, irregular mass, usually non-tender, but if there's a heaviness or a pain that starts that's unexplained and persistent, even that would warrant going to the doctor and getting a, uh, a physical examination. And with the average age of diagnosis being in the mid-30s, it is important that boys and men are making sure that they stay up to date with their self-examinations and doctor's visits. Well, nobody knows their anatomy better than themselves, and self-examination is really key. Now, Dr. Rosenberg said that early detection usually ends with a good outcome. The vast majority are found confined, and most of the time, Removal of the testicle is the entire treatment, and the cure rates of testicular cancer is confined to the testicle at the time of diagnosis are very close to 100%. Now, Jody, it is important to note that the treatment plans do depend on where the cancer is located and whether or not it had spread, but even then, the, uh, the curable, it is very curable, and it's close to 100% all across the board. Yeah, Pollard even said that when they did blood tests, it showed that his cancer had not spread to any other areas of his body. I know that he'll keep us updated on his prognosis and his journey. Um, thanks so much, Natalie, for that story.